Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for this invitation. I'm very glad to present you Huella Verde. Huella Verde is now a company and is, a, is a, a, ha, a obtained the B certification in 2020. Next, please. Can you put next, uh, Solange? Ah, yeah. Okay, so first, uh, this is a, a different company uh, because its purpose is to develop and implement services that allow to replace single use with reuse. That's our, our main objective. So um, why do we do this? Because we believe that reuse is the most circular way of consumption. For example, this graphic, you can see um, the linear economy was to produce something, uh, take with the resources, produce, use, and then waste. But uh, these are the different examples of a, of a circular economy. And the circle, the most small, the, the smaller circle is to reuse, because that means that is one container, for example, you just wash it and use it again. You don't have to transport so much or you don't have to to break it down, you don't use to, so much energy, so it's the most circular way of consumption. What is the problem, for example, in the Ecuadorian food courts? What well, this is the types of tableware uh, that we uh, that the different restaurants use. Very little, for example, more or less four percent are compostable. That are dishes made of uh, paper or other materials. Eighteen percent are pet that is a uh, plastic that could be recycled, but only if it doesn't have so much uh, grass, uh, so, so much oil. So in the reality, it doesn't get recycled at all. And most of the, the dishes that are used are styrofoam, that are a very cheap material, but it's impossible to recycle. Everything goes to landfills. Um, what is the life circle of a dish, for example? These disposable dishes um, are, uh, are made of petroleum. Not everybody knows that plastic comes from petroleum. And then it uses a, a oil to transport, then goes to a shopping mall. It's used for just a half an hour, an hour, and then it's thrown away. Again, uh, we have to transport this material and goes to landfills. Studies uh, show that one dish in one restaurant in average is used 2,500 times. That means that if we use a reusable dish, we are avoiding the, the, the use of 2,500 single use plastics. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's much more efficient. We have a measure more or less a, in an average food court in Ecuador. The, the people that eat there in average, there are a food courts that are smaller, some are bigger, but in average are 3000 people. So these uh, people produce uh, an average of nine cubic meters of plastic every day. That means that in Ecuador, ah, okay. Uh, the, the one before, uh, there are around 43 shopping malls, uh, food courts in Ecuador that are uh, medium or large. That means that this would be the garbage. If you are this, if, I don't know if you see this little person, <laughs> if, if you are this little person, this is the quantity of plastic waste that is produced in one day in Ecuador only from food courts. So these are very, um, enormous uh, contaminators. And where does it, this goes? To landfills. And landfills are not the so solution. It's just a way that the plastic doesn't go so fast to the oceans, but it's uh, just a hole where you put plastic under, you put all the garbage and you, you cover it. 
So uh, we believe we have to avoid everything uh, to go there. So for that, we uh, propose to change, to replace this linear model of the, of the food courts with a circular model. Next. Where we just, the dishes, we just uh, wash them and use it again. And we wa wash them in the same food court. So we don't have to transport it at all. So we began uh, this uh, in 2017 in the first shopping mall that uh, thought the idea was interesting, that is Paseo San Francisco. And how we work is that we uh, make an alliance with the, with the shopping mall so we can give the service to the different restaurants that uh, operate there. For example, these are some examples of some restaurants and these are the dishes that we give them every day and they are replacing the plastics that they used to uh, use before. So now the clients don't have to eat with these uh, styrofoams and these uh, knives that break down, et cetera. And they use uh, ceramic dishes and uh, uh, steel uh, knives, forks, and uh, uh, spoons. How we work is that we uh, give every morning the, uh, the quantity of dishes and uh, cutlery or glasses that the restaurant needs. And for that, we have developed an application. And then they use it like uh, they used it to do it before. And all the dishes are, the dirty dishes go to the food court and are uh, transported to the to the cleaning station. Next, so this is the cleaning station where we wash uh, the dishes with the with the best technology, very efficient machines that they don't use too much water and by a degradable uh, uh, soap. And uh, and we uh, um, store them to give them again. This uh, model we improved in the second shopping mall when we, where we uh, noticed that we should also classify all the garbage that is uh, in the food court. For example, all the organics, uh, they are all mixed with paper, with everything, and did, this does, uh, is not recycled in all the uh, food courts. So we developed these stations that you can see here, where we get the, the tray with everything and we separate all the, the food uh, waste the paper or everything that can be recycled and uh, the little things that cannot be recycled. Uh, this uh, we implemented first in Mall de los Andes, that's the second shopping mall where we, we implement our service with all these uh, restaurants. Next. And uh, now uh, we also, uh, signed and are implementing in the third shopping mall that is Mall El Jardín that is even bigger than the other two and we are uh, about to begin the implementation in Mall del Sol that's the biggest uh, food court in Ecuador more right, more uh, more or less 7000 people eat there every day uh, here are some uh, numbers for example mm -hmm. that we have from 2021 with the three shopping malls we avoided the, the dispose of two million, two and a half million uh, plastic uh, cutlery, dishes, everything in just this year. And this is a year where like you can imagine with the COVID, uh, the food courts were not full. And where uh, Mall El Jardin, we just uh, began working in September. The material that we have recovered uh, that we recovered in each day is around 203 kilograms of organics. That means in uh, 21, we, we uh, avoided uh, or recovered 23 tons, uh, 43 uh, pound, uh, toneladas, ton, uh, tons, uh, 43 tons of uh, organics. And what we give, make is we separate and we give to people that, uh, uh, farm uh, that use it for pig farms. And also we, uh, all the paper and plastics that can be recycled, this is more or less four big bags every day that we separate in the food courts. 
So that's uh, the service that we implement in food courts. And now uh, since uh, 2021, we began an, a second service that is focused on refillable uh, bottles. Because in Ecuador, like in many countries, there are still some beverages that uh, you can find them in refillable bottles, but they are very little sold and only in little stores, but not in shop in, in supermarkets. So we think it's very important that they are sold in supermarkets. And for that, we propose to create um, a, a, a point in the uh, where we, 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 we created a solution. So first, why? Because the refillable bottles is an efficient system. In average, uh, one refillable glass bottle uh, can be used 50 times. That means that that's a, that avoids the the fabrication and the recycling in the best case or the garbage that produce 50 bottles. Next. The environmental impact of refillable bottles is a uh, much lower than uh, the other bottles. You can see here the materials of different uh, packaging and all the blue are the refillable and they are all, for example, in CO2 the, the footprint is much lower than all single use. Even if it's compostable, um, always to reuse is the best option. For example, from these studies, we, we know that these bottles produce 37% less greenhouse emissions than single use pet bottles. And in the last picture is a picture of uh, Mingas por el Mar, that is an organization in Ecuador that uh, they uh, make cleanups in different beaches and. And they found that the third object that most contaminate every place is plastic and glass bottles, single use, just single use. So um, next. So to, to increase returnable bottles by 10% would reduce marine pollution from bottles by 40%, according to this uh, Oceana study. And also other studies uh, demonstrate that to change to a single use uh, way of consumption to a reuse way of consumption could create 193,000 jobs. And this we can see uh, what we are doing. We have created uh, with, the, with three food courts and one uh, station of uh, bottling of these returnable bottles, we have created right now uh, 20 uh, jobs and we can create much more jobs if we replicate this. Next. So these are pictures of the, the pilot that I was telling you that uh, is the first supermarket in Ecuador that begins to sell uh, three uh, types of beers in returnable bottles or refillable. I don't know if in English, uh, they were, they, sometimes I see that they say refillable, sometimes they say returnable and they are selling it like this and it's even cheaper for the client because you just pay the first time the container and then you give the container back empty and this the price like 50 cents for these little bottles you get a discount the second the second time so you just pay the 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 beverage when we buy whatever we are buying we are paying the food plus the container and that is also not good for the economy. These are the pictures of the place uh, that we call it Punto Retornable, Returnable Point, and is in the garage of this supermarket where we have a, a person that receives the empty bottles and gives a ticket for each bottle or also this Java, I don't know how do you call it, where you put the bottles, that is also reusable. And these are the numbers in the first three months that we operate. Uh, these are the three kinds of beverages, the, the three kinds of beers, and this is the quantity of uh, bottles that we have received back. That this would be the, the quantity of bottles that we uh, avoid that are, are not, not anymore single use. Before the people buy the same beer, but in disposable bottles, one uh, single use, and now they are using refillables. So um, this is the services that we have uh, developed and we are implementing 
we are implement uh, we have implemented like I say in three food courts, but there are, there are only in Ecuador 43 more, and in South America there are plenty more that use all these single use plastics, and also uh, the returnable point we are only in one shopping in one uh, supermarket, and there are I don't know how many in Ecuador, but uh, like a hundred supermarkets, and we are only working with three with three uh, types of beers. We are soon gonna begin with a, one a brand of water and one brand of a, of a soda, a Coke. But there is a potential to include many other beverages, uh, even wine, um, even soap. Uh, and we hope to, to replicate and to demonstrate that reuse, to reuse is possible and is good also for the economy and for jobs.